So we talked about this next issue before like a gazillion times here because you know California is a pretty garbage state at this point. Um, we live here, so we know. Um, Walgreens is closing another five locations in San Francisco because of widespread brazen shoplifting. Now, we talked about this before, so if you haven't seen any, seen any, if you haven't seen any of our old videos, you know we'll have some links in the description, and you can click up here, and it'll take you to one of our old videos. But numerous stores like Walgreens, CVS, Target, Target changed their whole schedule of what time they closed because of shoplifting, and all these stores are starting to leave San Francisco, they're starting to leave California, they're starting to leave Los Angeles because of brazen shoplifting. You're just like, oh, like, I mean, police the area, you know, call the police, like whatever. It's like, no, because Except we, they are. <laughs> exactly, they are, but the thing is, the DAs, the district attorneys in these cities in Los Angeles and in cities like San Francisco, they're basically on this approach of, yeah, like, unless they do X amount of things, Unless they steal X amount of shit, then we're not going to prosecute them. Unless they do this, 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 we're not going to prosecute them. And then you have DAs like George Gascon in Los Angeles, who even if you do things wrong, he's still like trying to help these people find a way off of charges. Like we talked about a, a kid who was trying to sell something on OfferUp. He was shot, his car was stolen, and the thing he was selling was stolen. And then George Gascon tried to make it so that the kid the two teenagers that did that to him were only charged with robbery and theft instead of attempted murder. I mean, these are the DAs in the state of California that are currently ruining businesses and basically law in our cities. And I mean, you can look it up. I mean, the District Attorneys Association in California, I believe is suing George Gascon right now. And they're trying, they, they're trying to get him recalled. There's all kinds of stuff because I mean, this is basically like democratic, democratic cities not enforcing the law. I mean, we've, we talked about it in a video previous to this. You have the, you have the state of California paying meth addicts. You have uh, San Francisco paying criminals not to shoot each other. I mean, this is literally like what's come to like laws in the state of California. I mean, they're defunding the police and they're just, well, if you pay criminals, they won't kill each other. If you pay meth addicts, they, they'll get off meth. I mean, this is like the state of policing in the state of California now, where Walgreens and Target are like, we're gonna close locations because the police aren't even, the police can't even do their jobs because of the laws in these cities. I mean, you basically said everything. Like, some of the laws that you've talked about, I think specifically in San Francisco, it's legal to carry some illegal substances as long as it's like around or under three grams. And yeah, it, they're, they're state, like Washington and Seattle, they're decriminalizing a lot of stuff too. Right. And it's just like, you do know that the problems don't go away when you decriminalize something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Addiction is still there. Right. And then it's also like not a felony to steal up to, I think it's like 150, somewhere around $150 worth of items, mm -hmm. which is also just fucking stupid. Yeah, so basically they'll walk into these stores and steal under the amount and it's like, the police aren't even gonna arrest them until they reach that criteria. And they can just hit as many stores as they want doing it at a different stores. Right. So, I mean, I don't really have anything else to say except for uh, if you guys don't want this happening, stop voting for people who keep promoting this stuff and tell all your friends. That's really it. And a lot of these people are unfortunately from my side of the political party. I mean, my side of the political spectrum and they are Democrats. And uh, they just suck at their job.